this uh, view uh, from uh, an external camera on the Soyuz uh, showing the vehicle itself. This may be one view that we uh, have an opportunity to see undocking from, as well as uh, any view that we will get from truss cameras on the International Space Station at the time of physical separation that is scheduled at 7.40 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time. A close-up view now of the Soyuz MS-09 that is docked, uh, at least for the moment, to the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the International Space Station. The uh, station is flying 252 miles over the Indian Ocean, moving from southwest to northeast. On the right, uh, very visible, are the Ultraflex solar arrays on the Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo craft, recently arrived at the International Space Station. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, go. And the hooks are now driving open. This will take about 90 seconds, at which point uh, the springs on both sides of the docking interface between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module will push off against one another to create the physical separation that will mark uh, the beginning of Expedition 58 on the International Space Station. We are standing by for the undock. Please use both the camera and uh, the video display, video system. Copy. We can see very clear image on the camera without any noise or anything else. We can see everything very well. Copy. We're standing by for physical separation of the Soyuz MS-09 from the International Space Station, and there it is. Doc undocking confirmed at 7.40 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time, right on time, as the International Space Station flew 252 miles over southeastern Mongolia. The indicator mode is not illuminated anymore. SSOP mode is illuminated. We can see the docking node. We don't see any debris or anything else on the docking mode. It's clean. Copy. GSO 1 and 2 are confirmed. Copy, please start the timer. Yes, GSO 1 is uh, illuminated. Please start the timer, Sergey. The timer is on. This is Mission Control Houston. You're hearing a conversation uh, between the Russian flight controllers and Karayov and the crew on board uh, Soyuz MS-09. Again, uh, you're looking at the vehicle now flying free of the International Space Station on docking, occurring right on time at 7.40 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time, 8.40 and 30 seconds p.m. Eastern Time, as uh, the station and the Soyuz flew 250 plus miles over southeastern Mongolia. Visually, the range is approximately 12 meters. Copy. Sergey, we wish you soft docking. We can see you. Thank you, Oleg. Have a great flight on the ISS. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And another view of the uh, Soyuz vehicle as it continues uh, to back away from the International Space Station. Prepare for the first Delta V. We are ready. We are getting ready. We are expecting it in 30 seconds. 
принято. Копи. Fifteen seconds to go. Ten. Yes, работа депо. We confirm депо firing. The first of two separation burns underway. This is an eight-second burn to increase an opening rate uh, between the Soyuz that now is in a roll program. I can see the maneuver. The maneuver is complete. It's a roll maneuver. Copy. The maneuver is complete now. I confirm GSO. Combined GSO. The second uh, of the two separation burns uh, will be coming up shortly. A 15 second burn that will further increase the opening rate between the Soyuz and the International Space Station. You're looking down at uh, the snow-covered uh, terrain of uh, far eastern Russia as uh, the Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station soon will begin a northwest to southeasterly track. Three, two, one. We confirm depot firing. Second separation burn now underway. This will be a 15-second burn. Ten seconds. We can see the maneuver. We confirm that depot is off. Fifteen seconds. Copy. Great image of the uh, Soyuz MS-09 flying just over the limb of the Earth, over the Sea of Okhotsk. Copy all. Everything uh, is in great shape on board. The uh, Recovery team, the search and recovery forces, Rosaviatsa of the Russian search and recovery teams, along with NASA and European Space Agency personnel, uh, will be making their way soon to the airport in Jezkazgan, where uh, they'll begin to board Russian Mi-8 helicopters to head toward the landing zone, which is about 87 miles to the southeast of Jezkazgan. The temperature is hovering around the 10 degree Fahrenheit mark this morning which is Thursday morning over in Kazakhstan. TV, TV. It's confirmed it's off. We are sending GAP for command right now.